All right, guys, went back today with an update video on one of my absolute favorite 357 revolvers, the Smith Model 627 Snub Nose Scanium Frame 8 Shot 357 Magnum. Now, this has been one of my dream revolvers ever since I discovered it existed. Does it have a ton of practical applications? Uh, maybe a couple. We're actually going to be looking at two other revolvers that have really, you know, taken the place of this particular one and any practical application in my arsenal we're going to be doing updates on those as well if you're interested in some shooting montages of these revolvers definitely check out the shorts category on my youtube page i do a lot of first person view shooting with these three revolvers so you'll want to take a look at those now this is an ultra lightweight full-size grip gun but with a stubby two inch barrel shooting the 357 magnum rounds out of this light rate revolver really packs a punch and everything about this screams performance center when you look at the trigger itself it's got a very smooth take up and it just functions great down at the range in double action mode if you did want to use this for personal defense because it does have a full-size grip it's actually really controllable the sights are easy to pick up and with that front orange sight i could see some practical applications as a nightstand gun or a home defense gun if you were dead set on getting a revolver i personally like other options with detachable magazines the ability to add night sights lights lasers things like that but if you have to have a revolver having eight shots at 357 mag is not bad especially in a lightweight carryable frame like this the single action is absolutely spectacular super crisp and lightweight and despite it being such a small barrel with the addition of that premium trigger, it's actually really accurate down at the range. And it's been functioning great with no issues, no cylinder rotation issues, no function issues whatsoever. It's just been holding up really good. I'm going to open up the second Smith case that I have and inside it is this bad boy right here. And this is a more practical revolver, but it's much much heavier this one is also an eight round cylinder with a slightly longer barrel length giving you just a little bit more oomph and a little bit longer sight radius again on this particular model this one is actually if we can zoom in and show you guys the 627 all steel frame gun and again the eight shots it's got a smooth trigger as well and the single action is also incredibly nice down at the range Maybe just a touch better than the Scanium Frame Revolver. So these are both the eight shotguns that I have. If, again, you were carrying something, I would recommend this over this because it's so heavy. But if you were just throwing it in your truck or throwing it in your car or your nightstand or maybe some type of uh, chest rig for bears, this might be um, a little bit better because it does give you that longer barrel and longer sight radius. And both of them function great down at the range. Again, no issues with the cylinder rotation on this, timing or function, light primer strikes any of that they both have been working great now to take out another classic i'm going to open up another box and this would be more of a practical carry revolver this is the smith and wesson 686 and this one is the six shot with the slightly longer barrel as well so you can do a comparison right here between the barrel lengths on that guy and then the barrel lengths on this guy. They're gonna be exactly the same right there. Now this one is a little bit slimmer profile and it, this one has hogue grips. We'll make sure it's clear one more time. Only six rounds instead of eight, but again, the trigger on this one is smooth, but not quite as smooth as these performance center guns. You really notice the difference there. Now the single action though, is just as nice. I mean, the single action on this one is spectacular. Again, this one is high vis orange front sights, smooth trigger pull, and not a ton of recoil because it's an all steel frame gun. Now, none of these are actually in my carry rotation. I just shoot other guns for different applications, but I've been loving the Smith revolvers, especially the eight shot monsters and the seven shot monsters, as well as the snub nose revolvers like the 686. Every time I see one for a good deal over the years, I pick one up, I add it to the collection, and I try to make a video about it, but I haven't been very good about doing update videos, so I figured it was time to do one of those today and show you guys some of my favorite 357 Magnum revolvers I have in the collection, especially these two guys right here. If I had to keep two 357s, these would be the ones I keep. 
despite them being maybe not the most practical for different applications, they're still the absolute coolest. And if I only had to keep one, this is it. My dream revolver. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you ever trust a revolver for any practical applications? Do you happen to own any of these revolvers? I really want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. We're getting really close to a million subscribers, so I greatly appreciate it if you sub the channel. Once we hit that number, we're doing some insane uh, giveaways, maybe a meet and greet, and a few other different things, so uh, you won't want to miss those opportunities. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.